Welcome to Gamers from Nowhere. Woo! Hey. That's like the fifth time we've tried that. Yeah, sorry, we had some technical <laughs> glitches. Uh, More like just can't press the right buttons. Right. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, today we're going to talk about games that aren't Nintendo games. For once in our podcast. I know. We're going to talk about um, all our favorite games that are not published by Nintendo. Well, not really all our favorite games, but just a few. Yeah, a few. Um, obviously, I'm probably going to forget a couple. You're going to forget a couple, but we're going to oh, pick yeah. our top five. And, and again, this is you know our top five. It's yeah. you know by no means whatsoever the top five video games no, that are not at all. Nintendo. Not at all. I think I think most people, most of my picks are kind of weird. So some, some of mine are too. So uh, they're not, they're not like all your big AAA games necessarily. <laughs> even though, okay, so. Um, I believe we got a few. Yes, we have a few honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, at least. Uh, I'll I'll go first. Okay. Because um, I'm cool. <laughs> so okay. Uh, so first, I'm gonna say uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Samurai Warriors. Yep. The series. Um, Monster Hunter. I'm not putting Monster Hunter on my favorites, even though that would be on there because I just talk about it a lot. That's been done to death on this podcast. And it's really not that good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. All right, Um. so, and uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Those are my special moments. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, and Overwatch. I should mention Overwatch. I am addicted to that game right now, but it's too early to say it's one of my favorite non-Nintendo games, but... Yeah, I get that. I get that. Um, for me... In no particular order for this one, it's like, you know, Banjo-Kazooie, because, you know, who doesn't like Banjo-Kazooie? Um, Halo 3, I just I remember sitting up late at night playing Halo 3 online, or like you and the guys coming over and we yeah. playing King of the Hill and that kind of stuff. That was always fun to me. Um, the Star Wars The Force Unleashed, 1 and 2, I feel like okay. you have to put both of them on the list because okay. they're both so similar and yet they're, they're so different. Right. Um, uh, Dragon Ball Z Tekaichi three, mm-hmm. only because um, only because of the the story, huge, right, yeah, the, the story for it, you know everything behind it. It was just if you wanted to play a Dragon Ball Z game from beginning to end of the Dragon Ball Z universe, that was the one to go to. Do you like it better than Xenoverse? I like it a whole lot better than Xenoverse. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and then my last one is Undertale. It, it just missed my oh, list. Oh, wow. I, I forgot Undertale. It just missed my list. So that, yeah. if, if you want to say anything, that one would be like my number six. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely forgot Undertale. Uh, fantastic game. Uh, and fantastic soundtrack. Yes. Po- possibly one of the best I've ever heard. I agree. Yeah. Um, so, all right. So let's get into our main list now. Number five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, how about you go first since I did the honorable mentions first and whatever. Okay, that's cool. My number five is kind of wishy-washy in a sense. It, wishy-washy? Yeah. Oh, wow. Here we go. Yeah, it's kind of wishy-washy because like, there's moments where it's like, yeah, I love this game. And there's moments where it's like, no, I, I hate this game. But it's uh, I had to put it on the list. And I put it on number five because it's one of those games, like I said. Yeah. Uh, but I had to put it on the list because I know if I didn't have it on here somewhere, my girlfriend was going to kill me. Ariana, I put Grand Theft Auto V on my list. So, uh, I mean, I think most people would put Grand Theft Auto V on their list anyway. Yeah. Like, it, 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 I, top I was 10, debating. I would think. I was, I was debating putting it on some of the stuff. Mostly just because of the uh, multiplayer. Yeah, actually, I actually beat, I finally beat the whole story this yeah. weekend. The story <laughs> or, itself is, is really good for a Grand Theft Auto game. Yeah. Um... I, I like that you get to play as three different characters. Mm-hmm. You know, won't spoil the ending for you, but oh yeah, uh, it, it's it's really more. In, I feel like it's more in depth than what most other. Yeah. Because you know, most of the time in, in Grand Theft Auto games, it was like you come from a foreign country. Yeah, and you're or that like GTA Four. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, which is the only other Grand Theft Auto story that I've played, so that's why I used that one as an <laughs> example. And it just it, that one just didn't feel like. It had much of a flow to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I still found myself just, you know, trying to do what everybody does, which was go through, steal cars, kill people. <laughs> but with GTA Five, I feel like there's a lot more to it, and it's a lot of fun. It yeah. really it really is a lot of fun when, if you play with the right people. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of which, you need to get a PS4 and start playing with me. I do. I really do need to get a PS4. <laughs> Mr. Xbox One over here. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want me to go? <coughs> sure. All right. My number five is Mass Effect 2. Um, this is a. This is just like. Uh, I don't have like some sort of like, special attachment to this game like the other ones on this list. Yeah. But um, it's just a really good game. It is. It's just really good. The story is fantastic. I, I, yeah, I like. I like. I love games. Like if you if you remember our our top three list of yeah. games that came out that year, um, last year I think it was. I said something about. I think it was. Undertale, actually, <laughs> and how I love games where it's like, or no, no, it was Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain, right? It was Heavy Rain where it was. So it might not have been games of that. Anyway, doesn't matter. No, 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 no. But it was Until Dawn, right? Until Dawn. That's it. <laughs> Heavy Rain, Until Dawn, Undertale, Mass Effect, all over. All same thing, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> but I love those kind of games where it's everything that you do, everything that you, yeah, every decision you make shows up throughout the whole story yeah. and, and it changes the outcome right? yeah actually so yeah my story with this game is quite a sad one so I didn't know that so what I thought when, I, when you play Mass Effect you have to recruit a team to take on you have to go to this special place called. Right. and the final mission you have to do is called the suicide mission and so I was like okay so I'll just do everyone's side mission and so because you have to have build a certain bomb with people or else they'll die during the suicide mission Right. you have to do like their special side mission so I did all of those but what I didn't do and I didn't know you had to do this was upgrade your ship before going to the suicide mission. Oh, no. So I lost a ton of people. <laughs> um, and it was just bad. And, it, and well, I guess only one person actually died from the ship not being defended well enough. But then I made some bad decisions during the cutscenes where you have, to, you have to pick people for certain jobs. Right. And I guess I picked the wrong people. And... <laughs> A lot of my teammates died. I remember being so sad. I almost cried, actually. That's how attached to these characters I were. Hey, I was, it, when you get that in depth and you put your mind and soul into deciding what you're going to do with these people, yeah. they become your family. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> that so just for that connection alone. Also, uh, Miranda's a babe. So anyway, continue. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Female Shepherd was a babe. Oh, uh, I guess so, too. Did you play as female Shepard? I know. For once, I didn't play as a girl when I played. That is so strange. That must have been before you started playing as the female character. Well, I didn't. I've done for a while. I just didn't think about it then. I I don't do it consistently like I do now. True. So I guess we're going to number four. Yes. Uh, For my number four, I basically had to put it on here because I find myself always playing this game. I wouldn't say it's my favorite game of all time because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. But this game. Uh, it's like the same game every year. It's a sports game. Uh oh. It's uh, they actually haven't put any out lately because of you know lawsuit reasons. Uh, but it just lawsuit it, reasons. Yeah, it's 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 a college football. Oh. Uh... They they were using the likeness of college students, and some of them sued EA. For it, and so EA has not put anything else out that is college sports related. Same thing happened with baseball and basketball, and so now we have no college sports games as far as I know. But you know, I like it better because, like, I'm not I'm not that big into the NFL, but I'm huge into college football. Like, it's crazy because there's 32 teams in the NFL, and there's 120 schools that have major football programs, and I know more about those. And I do the 32 teams that are in football and in, in, in the NFL. It's so much easier to keep up with the NFL, but yet I find it so much more fun to keep up with college football. Right. And it just, uh, I'm a huge Clemson fan. You know that. Most of you that are listening to this know that. And, you know, just to be able to play as the coach or play as the quarterback of my favorite school. It's just really cool to me. Yeah. And I can, you know, create my own character. You can do that in the NFL too, but I can create my own character and be the quarterback or the, you know, running back or the defensive back, whatever, of that team. And it's just, to me, it's just it's so much fun to sit there and play those games because you can play them over and over and have different outcomes, different yeah. whatever. Not necessarily different outcomes. You you win or you lose. And it's always just fun to try to get to the championship. You said, the what's, what's the name of this game you said? It's, uh... It's it's EA Sports, but it's like 
NCAA like twelve or okay. NCAA whatever year okay. it was that came out like NCAA six or something. Yeah. Like okay. That. Okay. I understand. Um, right. Kind of like Madden fourteen or Madden mm-hmm. whatever. It's like, it, it, but it's I just put all of the other because it's really all the same game. It's just like a more updated roster. Kind of they try to predict as to like you know how good these players are or whatnot compared to what they were last year or who they pop probably they have now that kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. um, there there's hopes there's hopes that they have settled the lawsuit. Hey, they have settled the lawsuit and are going to start putting games back out again. Hopefully by this year, maybe <laughs> I hope if not next year. But uh, we haven't had one since. 2014. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's cool. Um, all right. I'll do mine. Um, number four. Mine is uh, a PC game, actually. Got a PC game on here. Okay. Uh, it's Rome Total War. Now, this game came out... Now, this is the original Rome Total War I'm talking about, not uh, Rome 2. Um, and this game is basically where you play as an ancient military faction... And you basically have to take over the world. Basically. Okay. And you can recruit you can recruit all kinds of soldiers like. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's kind of like, like Risk. Kinda. It's kind of like it's kind of like a digital just, version of Risk. Just not so monotonous and right, long. Right. <laughs> and you can have like these huge battles. And I always like to play as the Carthaginians and get war elephants and go marching into the capital of Rome. <laughs> it's really cool because if you play as a Roman faction, you have to do you basically have to do what the Senate tells you to do. Right. But. If you get, but later in the game, uh, as the years go by, you you can become a powerful enough empire to overthrow the Senate and dis- and take over Rome yourself. Okay. The, yeah, it's just a really fun game. Um, I mean, I've never heard of this before. Surprisingly. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, Rome Total War is really fun. It's it's not like it's not like a high end PC game either. It's from like two thousand something. I don't remember. Two thousand six or something. Okay. I can't remember. Uh, but sometime around there. So it's not like a super. It's not it's not really taxing on your game yeah. on console at all. Yeah. Um, it's just a really fun game. There have been various iterations after that. There's been a Rome 2. There's been a Medieval Total War. There's I actually think I have heard of that one. Yeah, and there's Shogun Total War. And recently there's been a Warhammer Total War. Um, <laughs> but the the first one's the one I have the best memories with. And uh, well, Of course. It's, yeah. it's the first one. Right. So that's my number four. Okay. Uh, for my number three, it's also a PC game. What? <laughs> Yeah, go figure. Uh, mine is Disney's Villains of Revenge. I've never heard of this. This it's it's a kids game. I just I remember sitting at the computer for hours and hours and hours during summer break playing this game, and I'm a huge Disney fan. Mm-hmm. I think above all else, if anybody knows me, they could say one thing about me: it's that I love Disney, <laughs> and this game just what it is. It's basically one of those point and click games where it's just yeah. you know I click here to do this or I click that to do that and it's not really more much of a in depth kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Again, it's a kids game, but what happens is at the beginning of the of the game, Jiminy Cricket's telling you a story, and he's what he does is he he starts to fall asleep as he's telling the story, and he he's like. He wakes up after a little bit, and he's like, oh, sorry, you know, I've been reading these stories for years now, because, you know, Jiminy Craig is like 80 years old. Right. And he's like, you know what, I have an idea. So he starts ripping the happy endings out of different stories. And so he's like, I have an idea. I'll have you, I'll, I'll read the stories to you, and you tell me which one you feel like the happy ending goes to, kind of thing. Okay. And so as he starts to read one of the stories, I think it's like Alice in Wonderland or maybe Pinocchio. I can't remember which one it is. All of the villains from the stories that he's ripped out, and it's it's Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, um, Dumbo, and Pinocchio. Sounds, I, sounds, I, sounds like Kingdom Hearts game. Sounds yeah, like it kind of does. <laughs> I think it's like the origin for Kingdom Hearts almost. But it's it's uh, it's I think it's those four. It might be wrong. It might be more. But those are the ones I remember. And basically what happens next is like they kind of like ruin the story. Since, they, since yeah. he took the happy ending out, <laughs> they, they, it's ru- they're ruining the stories now. And the Blue Fairy shows up. Again, this is a kid's game, <laughs> so don't bash me for it. Anyway, she shows up and she's like, look, you got to go back in there and fix this stuff now. 
And so basically, it's you and Jimmy Cricket going through the stories and fixing what's gone wrong uh, and getting all these stories their happy endings back. Okay. And it's this. It's it just is a lot of fun. It's I. It's probably not fun anymore. It's probably very <laughs> outdated. But like I said, I remember being seven, eight, nine years old, sitting there all summer long playing this game. Beat it, start it over. Beat it again, start it over. Beat it again, start it over. Jeez. I mean. It's weird how when you're a kid, you can just play a game forever. Yeah. Like I, remember, I remember doing that as a kid. I just remember being able to sit there and just play a game forever. Like, I didn't get tired. Exactly. I was we, like, I'm just we were the original speedrunners. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were the ones that, you know, were like, okay, I beat this now. Let me go through and I know what to do now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's do. what I did with Mario 64 all the time. I was play, then play through the level again, then play through the level again, then play through the level again. Yeah. And it's just like, like nowadays, like, now I think about it, I'm like, why would I ever do that? Right. You know? Like, I'm, I'm more... I'm more conditioned to enjoy newer experiences, mm-hmm. but as a kid, you're just like, okay, I'll play it again. Oh, okay, exactly. that's fun. Let's play it again. That's fun. Right. Play it again. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it entertains you enough to yeah. want to do it again, so you're just going to sit there and play yeah, it. I, I kind of wish I kept that sort of mindset, but oh well. Oh well. All right. Is this my number? This is your number three. Three. Okay. My number three is a tragic tale. <coughs> Very sad. Um, because of what became of it. Uh, mine is Battlefront Two. Uh, for the uh, not the new Battlefront. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> boy, you know how to push my button. <laughs> um, no, I would agree with you. I'd put Battlefront two on there. Yeah, um, this is a game that is just even Battlefront one's fun. I played this. I originally had it for the Xbox, mm-hmm. and then I started. Then Dustin got it for PS two, and we actually, st- I actually remember we stole it from Hollywood Video. Do you know about this? No, I don't. Know one about day this. we were at Hollywood Video. And I was like, oh, man, we have to play Battlefront 2 on PS2. And so, um, and if I remember, we couldn't find his or something. Mm-hmm. And so we just took that game and started playing it. And then we found his old Battlefront. Oh, that's right. It wouldn't work. His old Battlefront wouldn't work. So okay. we took his old Battlefront 2 and put it in the Hollywood video case. <laughs> You're kidding. And then we kept the one that worked. <laughs> um but yeah, basically, in case you don't know, this is a game where basically you play as a stormtrooper or a jet. I always play a stormtrooper. Right. I'm, I'm, right. Um, there is a story mode, kind of whatever. But you, you play as a stormtrooper. You not necessarily a Jedi, but you play as a member of the the rebellion. Yeah. Right. You can. You can play as a rebellion. And this is what's cool about it. You can play as a rebellion. You can play as the Empire, which is what I always did. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can play as the droids. And yeah, you can play yeah. as the clone troopers, and you can play as all different kinds. You can play as like like a. You can storm- even play as the, uh, the Jedi. Wookies. Yeah, and you can play as uh, and the uh, well. Were they in? The- you could. They were in there. I don't know if. You could, oh yeah, you could. You could play them as. If, I think if you're a rebel, you could play as a Wookiee. That's right. I think. I think you could because I remember Chewbacca having the, uh, or not necessarily Chewbacca, but the but Wookiees. the Wookiee. Yeah. That, that you could choose from had the uh, little crossbow thing. Right. I think you can pick them. Um, I can't remember because I never played the Rebellion. I always picked Empire. Yeah. And but basically, it's so cool is that you go from planet to planet, fighting, mm-hmm. basically playing Star Wars, like all the great Star Wars battles, Endor, Hoth. Yep. You know, you get to actually live in those battles, and um, and that's the Galactic Conquest is the best because that, that's what I'm talking about, where you take over certain planets. You yeah, have to yeah, take yeah, over. Yeah. You have to take over the galaxy. Yeah, that was the best part of it. In my and um, then one day, uh, Lucas Arts, uh, they had a project for Battlefront Three, but never finished. And then many years later, a company called EA and DICE decided to make Battlefront again. And they took out uh, pretty much everything that made it great. Make Battlefront great again. <laughs> they took out Galactic Conquest. They took out... Th- there is co-op. Like, cause I-, I love playing co-op, right? Mm-hmm. I love playing with people to take over the galaxy. It's the best thing. Like, just, uh, just, just, that, just in that sentence. I play with my best friend on a PS2 game to take over the galaxy. How cool is that? That is very cool. And uh, the only cop in the new Battlefront is like this dumb survival mode that no one. Uses. <laughs> I don't know what I kind of I kind of like the the idea that you because I know you could do it at certain times in Battlefront Two, um, but I, I I like that you could like play as Darth Vader or play yeah. as the Emperor. Yeah, or yeah if you got enough kills or whatever, or you you'd get it. You they did give you a yeah, but power. but in the I'm talking about in the new Battlefront, oh. you could just play as those characters like. You yeah. play as Han Solo or Princess Leia or Luke. Now they have their disadvantages, of course, but yeah. I just I, I like the concept of being able to play as them whenever yeah. you want. But it does make it a little bit more broken, in my opinion. Too. Um, it's okay. Um, it's it's yeah, that's it's, the only redeeming part of the new yeah, Battlefront that I have. I, I was just throwing. Out I think there. yeah. I think 
I don't really, I, I actually have it somewhere in my house, the, the new Battlefront. Um, but I think it's it's only like a few people can play as the Jedi in a match. Yeah. It's not like everyone. No, it's not. It's it's, it's more of a play like a by very special kind thing. Of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and there's no space battles in Battlefront Two. You could battle in space. You could blow up giant space carriers and. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm just regaling the old times. I'm like an old man. <laughs> Back in my day, Battlefront. <coughs> okay. All right, your number two. Go ahead. My number two is Gears of War Three. Okay, I've only played Gears of War one, and I only got like That's part of the way fourth down. of the way through. <laughs> uh, I like Gears of War three, pretty much for the same reason that I like Halo three. But I love the story of Gears of War a whole lot better than I love the Halo. Halo is weird as crap. It's like it is. go find the Oracle of Delphi, and she <laughs> will tell you about the the unlocking key. So the planet struck. It's like, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> and then it's like you know, you start off, and the enemy is the the Covenant. It's the yeah. Covenant. The, the the Covenant is the bad people. You've got to get rid of them. And all of a sudden, you team up with them to and try to, yeah. to, to to. Well, even in Halo One. You kind of team up with them a little bit, not necessarily well, against the flood. I guess against the flood. That's what I'm saying. It's like, but it's every game that that happens. It's always, oh, the covenant. We gotta watch out for the covenant, and then boom. Now it's we gotta kill the flood. We gotta watch <laughs> out for the flood. Up until four, uh, yeah, and three. You had to, uh, the brutes. You have to fight the brutes with the covenant, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so Gears of War three, or is it Halo two? I don't no, Halo two. I think you fight the brutes. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember which one it was. But Gears of War 3. I, I just remember playing Gears of War 2 and beating it. And then at the like the 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 credits roll. And I just remember thinking, I hate credits because <laughs> I just want to go on and do something else now. But I let the credits roll and like in the middle of the credits all of a sudden you hear Marcus Phoenix's father whoops spoilers okay <laughs> but he's uh, anyway it, you hear Marcus Phoenix's father and to me it just was like oh my god there's gonna be a Halo 3 and just being <laughs> so hyped for it <laughs> you so said hyped. Halo 3 oh here's a War 3 <laughs> again they are a lot alike but not <laughs> and both are 3 but anyway Gears of War 3, I was just like, oh my god, there's going to be a Gears of War 3. I was so excited. Got it, played it, got to the end and got kind of frustrated with it. Quit playing it. Played like online multiplayer kind of thing. Yeah. And that I love. That I love that one a whole lot better because there was, it was like team death matches uh -huh. and stuff. And But then there was also Horde Mode. Did you ever play Horde Mode with me? I don't know. Is that where you just fight enemies? Yeah, it's just where you have like one group of enemies come in, you kill them all, and then you wait a little bit. They have like a little cooldown period, go get your ammo. All right. And then another one comes in, and it's like up until like level 20 or something like that. And that's when you finally beat it. I, I Just to me, that was so much fun, just sitting there like in the trenches with my friends, just like waiting for these yeah. huge monsters to come out at you. And sometimes it was so freaky. And then... You get the one idiot that's like, I'm going to charge at everybody while everybody's sitting in the back up on the top with snipers just ready to pop everybody's head off. I just, I loved it. And then I finally went back to the story and realized, oh wait, I should have turned left instead of turning right and was done with the game. Really? Yep. <laughs> I was right there at the end the whole time and never realized it. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of a funny story and that that's why I put that one up there at number two because... Like you said for for Battlefront, you know how cool is it to say that you get to sit there and with your best friends go against these huge monsters, these, hey. these life threatening monsters that are terrifying. You know you want to do that in real life almost, but you're almost too scared to do it if it really did happen. But you could sit there and do it right yeah. now when it's not you. It would it would be a great game to play like on Oculus Rift. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's my number two. All right, sounds cool. My number two is Bioshock Infinite. Um, this game is... I mean, I don't know what else to say about this game other than it's really, really good. The story's good. The graphics are... Amazing. Amazing. Um, so they're some of the best graphics I've seen. So, yeah, but some, to be a 360. Game. Now, yeah, I, uh, I, played Battle, I played Bioshock 1, but I never could beat... Uh, friggin', what's his name? Fontaine, who's last boss. He's so hard. And I, I probably should go back and beat it, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, but I did beat Bioshock Infinite, which I found a bit easier. Um, 
but it's just so cool. Like the environments to me are, are more interesting, and like you have that you have a assistant. Uh, I think it's Elizabeth. I think so. I think I can't quite remember. But basically, what she does is she basically throws you ammo and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, she's she's a good assistant. Yeah, and she doesn't get hurt. She does not. Get, she's immortal. So basically, you never have to worry about taking care of her. Just Which is amazing. Really good. And there's just so many moments where like um, there's all these crazy guns and you get, you know you have powers in it like um. There's one one of my favorites one is you shoot bats out. I think it's bats. I think it's bats. Uh, uh, but it's you drink a vial and you can shoot bats out at the enemy and those like hoard them and stuff. And um, of course, it actually has these uh, really interesting political overtones throughout the entire thing. Mm-hmm. It takes place in a fictional history where they during the American Civil War, this group of people basically I think it was the American Civil War? I can't quite remember. But they basically secede to make a city in the sky. It is I, Elizabeth, by the way. Elizabeth, okay, cool. <laughs> I'd sound like a scrub if I didn't know that. <laughs> um How can you say this your second favorite game yeah, if you yeah. don't know the assistant's yeah. name? <laughs> um, we know you comment section. It doesn't <laughs> exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <laughs> um but and I just really love that. I love the fact, and the guns are so awesome, and you can like go across these giant, like these rails that yeah, go across yeah, yeah, the yeah. city, and you can like ride them and shoot, and it's just, and there, I mean, there's like a freaking, there's like a George Washington, um, <laughs> uh, android robot with Gatling guns. You have to fight, and you have yeah, to go yeah. through these museums and stuff. It's just really cool. Um, I'll say this: my one gripe with this game, <laughs> yeah, I was about to bring that up. I think uh, is the ending. I know a lot of people like it. Um, I'm not one of those people. Didn't you like throw something up against the wall? I threw the controller up against the wall. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was that <laughs> the controller. Um, not only is that part disappointing, I'm not gonna say what happens at the end. Of course not, because you should you should play it and find out. But um, but even the last boss, quote unquote, there's not really a boss, which may be disappointing because I love boss fights. Yeah, it's more. Well, like, it gives you that you know solidification of I just yeah. beat the game. Yeah. Um, but I feel like uh, that game should be played alone just for the environments. Like, it just feels like you can just tell so much work put into it, and it just feels so much like its own mm-hmm. world. And, um, yeah, that's what I have to say on that. That's cool. I, I definitely agree with you for the most part. I have not beat Bioshock Infinite, but I, I, I do love the graphics in it, the, the yeah. weaponry in it, the way that. The, the gameplay is a lot of fun. The story is a lot of fun. The way it starts off is amazing. Yeah, yeah it's like you rode to the you rode to this lighthouse. And yeah, you do this weird thing and it shoots you up into the sky and it's like what? It's crazy. So good pick. Thanks. Very good pick. Um. So number one. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You stay in your seat for this one because you're gonna want to choke me for putting this one up here. I think I know what it is. You probably do. Mm-hmm. I have a good idea. I, I, was it something related to what we were doing before this? Yes, it was. Okay, yes, I, it I, is. I think I think I know what it is then. It's it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. I love Disney. <laughs> <laughs> and what's better than playing Disney dot deck with Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> so. I know it's a hard game to play. I know that a, a bunch of people gripe about it because it's like, oh, you have too much to do. There's, there's, everything's too hard to beat. Blah 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 blah. But the environments you get to go it, it, to me, you get to explore the land of Disney f- animated films. Right. <laughs> and it's just like you know, that's your, that's my childhood dream. Yeah, I understand. I, I understand. I love going to Disney World. And to me, that's like the closest I'll ever get to being inside the storybooks of these yeah. films. But Kingdom Hearts takes it that extra step. Sure, yeah. you're playing a Sora and whatever, and it's, <laughs> whatever. But just I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I am so ready for Kingdom Hearts three to come out. Oh, yeah. And two point eight or whatever it is. Yeah. So I. Uh, I, I cannot say enough good about Kingdom Hearts. I know that you would rather shred every copy and throw it in the bottom of the sea with the Titanic and just forget <laughs> about it. But I love Kingdom Hearts. That's fine. That's fine. 
I'm not. I'm not begrudging you. <laughs> hey, well, you might you might get a little annoyed by my number one. Okay. Do, do you think you know what my number one is? I, I I really don't. I have no clue what your number one is. You should know, because a couple years ago, I would not shut up about this game. But there's a bunch of games that you get that way about. <laughs> but this one in particular, you. you okay. Do you want me to say it? Yeah, just, just say it, because I, I have an idea, but I don't know exactly what it is. Number one is Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skyrim um, is just, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than just play it. it I, it's its one of those games you just have to experience. I mean, let, let me just... Uh, if, let me, you, if, if you like open world, it's the best game It's the best play. game ever. Um, let me just say that... Just give me an idea of how interesting this game is. Like an average fight would be like, oh, I'm going to into the, I'm going into this tunnel to get so and so armor. Quick, I'll use my warlock powers to blow up everyone with fireballs. Oh no, they killed me. Okay, I guess I'll just tr I'll just use my um, werewolf magic to turn into a werewolf and kill them all. Oh no, they got my werewolf. That's okay. I'll summon a demonic spirit from the other dimension to help me out. <laughs> Look, there's so many options in combat. That's what I love about the game. There's so much stuff you can do. You can ride into town on a werewolf. I mean, you can turn to a werewolf and just walk into town and people will freak out. You yeah. can call a freaking dragon to help you. One of the, la the last thing you get in the game, I guess kind of spoiler, the last shout you get is you get to summon a dragon to help you fight. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's really that much of a spoiler. Yeah. I mean... Not really. Not really. You kind of get the idea that that's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, anyway. it's so cool. I mean, and the, the main story actually is kind of lame. No, it's not lame, but it's just kind of... Well, because... It's you, very generic. It's very straightforward. It is. It is. And um, I have but, to say, though, with the fact that you can kind of go wherever you want to... Yeah. I, I screwed up when I first played that game. <laughs> and I think I went to, a, to a, a place that was, like, way too advanced for me. Because, like, I just remember I was walking around... And all of a sudden, these wolves started chasing me, and I'm, I'm on a horse that I stole from somebody, yeah. and I'm turned around, and I'm shooting my bow and arrow at these people that, again, I stole from somebody. <laughs> and I didn't realize that, you know, everything you steal has weight to it, and it weighs yeah. you down, and it makes you slower, yeah. and your horse slower, and everything. I, I didn't realize any of that. But then, all of a sudden, I come up on this giant, and it's like... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to kill the giant. I'm going to fight the giant. <laughs> you were going to go. Giant. Okay. Tell me how that went. All of a sudden, the game glitched out after he hit me one time, and I just go flying up into the yeah. sky. And it's just like, I won't stop. It's like, <laughs> okay, this is what death is. I'm just flying straight up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, it, it's all sorts of stuff. Even, like, even I even love moments like that where I, I get killed so hard, I go flying into the, the mountains. Uh, but it's so cool because, like, say you want something. Yeah, you could do the quest to do it and do all that stuff. Or you can just level up your stealth, sneak behind that person, take what item you want. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I love that. You can just do that if you want. You can cheat the rules. It's like it's like Skyrim is one of those games like, okay, here's how you do it normally. and But if you don't want to do it that way, you can just be a, a jerk and just take it. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I love about it. I, I agree with that. It's, it's, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto in a sense. Yeah. But medieval time and... Whole lot more in depth. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, there's a whole lot more to do in, in yeah. Skyrim. I admit. Um, one thing I also love is, um, uh, like, when there are all these sort of weird side quests. Like, you can become an assassin. Mm -hmm. You can play through with the assassin side quest. You can become a. I became the leader of the Mage Citadel, the leader of the University of Mages. Yeah, and and you can be that. You can be the leader of the Brotherhood. I can't remember the name. I don't of remember it but but they're like a group of mercenaries, and I was so I was the head of the College of Winterhold or whatever, <laughs> like the the College of Mages. I was the expert master assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, and I was the got like the main dude in the mercenary group. But it was like all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and you, um, I, I don't. I, I I remember I got the game. I, I swear I would never get it. I swear yeah. I would never get it because you. Were like majorly into it, and I watched you play it one time. And I was just like, "Really?" Because I remember how like much you like drooled over the graphics of the game, and I just remember looking. and I'm like, "That was like an eight bit tree back there in the back." <laughs> well, it's, and it's, I, I remember how much you raged about me just ripping on the graphics the way I did. And so I was like, "I'm never gonna get this game. I'm never gonna get this game." And then Walmart had a thing where it was like, "Oh, buy this and Bioshock Infinite for the price of you know half of a new video game." So I was like. 
Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it, and I was like, well, I'm not just going to let it go to waste. I'll play it, and I, I have to say I did thoroughly enjoy what I did play of it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's cool. I mean, like, even the main story is really interesting. You have to kill these dragons, this this Alduin, the end the world eater comes back and you have to go and find stuff out about him you have to talk to parflax another dragon on top of this mountain Mm -hmm. and and what finally you get to the point where you have to ride a dragon into is it high hrothgar it's basically um midgard i mean uh not midgard asgard asgard yeah and you basically have to go to valhalla okay and you have to recruit the soldiers of the dead to help you like that's crazy that is crazy (laughs) Like, it's just, I don't know. All right, well, that's enough gushing. You get the idea. It's a fun game. <laughs> Definitely. I would recommend any game off of your list. I would recommend some games off your list. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid I can't return the favor on I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I figured you probably could not return the favor <laughs> on Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, I just think of all the times I'm talking to you and Dustin, and you just guys were just <laughs> about it. Oh, Skyrim? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom we, Hearts. We uh we played that game together, view I mean listeners and um Whoo bud. <laughs> Dustin and I had a hard time with that. It just it's just I think Dustin and I have a very narrow like I'll, this is a self criticism. Um Dustin and I both have a very narrow idea of what a game should be. Mm-hmm. And it's difficult for us to appreciate something that's not immediately viscerally fun. Yeah. I, I, I get that. And that. so, you know, I'll say most people do love Kingdom Hearts. They love the environments, mm-hmm. all that stuff. And and I just, it's just, I'm just not the kind of person that can appreciate that completely. You know. Yeah, it's funny because, it, to a degree, it's kind of like Monster Hunter almost. Yeah. Only you're not, you know, trying to fight this monster to salvage whatever you can from it. That's that's the only difference, really. <laughs> and you're not trying to make your armor, but you are trying to get other stuff. Yeah. It's a little bit more straightforward and not as much grinding as what Monster Hunter is, which is why I like it a whole lot better. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it is funny that it kind of has that Monster Hunter theme, but it's not to the extent to where you like it. And yeah. It's a, it's enough not to that extent to where I love it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, uh, viewers uh, and listeners, uh, that's, I think, all we have to say about our list. I think that's all the time we've got, guys. Um, please comment, um, like, and subscribe, like, and yeah, that too. Okay. All right. From nowhere. We'll see y'all next time. Later.